The Irish Premier Series in association with Dunboyne Castle, Delco and Urban Images. It's all about skill and setup here in Mondello Park as Irish Premier Racing brings you the Formula Shanes. Now these cars are going to be battling it out on the track later doing speeds of up to 150 miles per hour. It sure looks like it's going to be a great day's racing. Savage, you're a pretty popular guy here at the motor race and you always seem to pop up along the circuits. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, the, the, for the class that I'm in is Formula Shane and it's unusual in the class that you'll see here in Mondello because David Shane a number of years ago decided that what had to be put in place was a class that was all equal across the board. So yeah. all of our cars, same engines, same gearboxes, it's down to driver and setup which makes for, as you will have seen today, fairly exciting racing. Adam, how many seasons have you been in Formula Shane now? This is my second season in Formula Shane. Uh, and how's the series going for you so far? It's going well, it's very competitive, so it's just about getting a feel for the car and getting used to everything. But uh, not a terribly expensive class, I understand. Quite a, for what it is, it's quite good value for money when you look at the level of competitiveness. So Formula Shane's on the grid, the red light's on, five second board, it's young Gary Newsom there on pole position, a good start from him, a little bit of tyre smoke, fantastic grid of these Wicklow Bill cars, already contact on the front row, that looks like young Duffy, Trevor Duffy going for the lead, and Anton Savage right down the inside, great opportunistic move from him, but uh, Newsom already fighting back on the right hand side, and uh, that's young Christopher McCabe there, going a little bit wide in the Brian Hardy car, and somebody going off there right up in the air and off, Savage it is already under attack now at turn three from Newsom, then it looks like Michal Balf, good first lap from him so far and this huge grip there's one of the burn cars going through and then use them right around the outside look at the back of the picture there one of the cars just contacting right up in the air and down the escape hole but these cars seem so robust on board now with uh, Liam Murphy coming around the S you can see how much these cars move around a lot of driving in these grabbing fork here now on the way up to Dunlop corner and uh, you can just watch him taking a little bit of curve here on the inside there he goes right up onto the curve there Murphy pushing very hard to close in on the car in front and Newsom already having a go they're side by side now inside the first lap starting lap two and Michal Balf now trying to get down the inside can Newsom possibly uh, get back across he can't he's left the door open a little bit there Michal Balf now up to second place and a danger man there in fourth place Brian Hardy multiple champion remember he's won six V titles and two Formula Shane titles so very successful driver there we're on board now with David Hall as he grabs fourth gear coming out of turn two. And very, very quick these cars. 140 brake horsepower at the back wheels. And not a whole lot of weight. Down into third gear, right out the outside. Should get a good run up the hill now. And uh, turning in a little bit early, some of the drivers there. Well, that's a good run for Young Hall. Grabs fourth now on the way to the Essence, the off camber, left hand corner, Ireland.ie. Next up, that's Brian Hardy in front of him. And he's trying to hang on to that leading pack. Savage out over the curves, pushing very hard there while Balf is in second place, but Newsom the danger man here, right to the outside, that bright yellow car, immaculately turned out as Gary Newsom's cars always are, a former V champion has moved up to Formula Shane and is going very, very well, and in fact Balf having a look now at Savage, and uh, Anton Savage holds the inside, Balf alongside, in fact gets the nose ahead of the outside, but Savage breaks so late and takes the lead back, Newsom now looks like he's possibly up to second place, great battle at the front of Formula Shane. Watch it again, and Newsom does get right round the outside. Look at the car going out of shape there. He doesn't lift out of it at all, keeps the foot in. And then it's, uh, I think that's young Trevor Duffy side by side with Brian Hardy. We're on board now with David Hall again, and that is indeed young Trevor Duffy getting round the outside of Brian Hardy on the approach to turn three. Trevor Duffy, of course, the son of Formula Ford legend, Pat Duffy, who won so many races at Mandela Park many years ago and uh, he's going very well in the Stafford Plantar car. Savage having to defend now because he has Newsom beside him. Newsom right up the outside very late can he possibly switch back to the inside. We've seen this many times at Mandela but gets down the inside. Savage tries to close the door but Newsom's already there. He's on the inside line and I think if he can make this stick if he can just stay side by side as Liam Murphy spins out there coming out of Dunlop corner on board with Murphy. A little bit of understeer the car pushes out over the car. He keeps it lit holds the first drift but it just goes back the other way. Nothing he can do. It doesn't manage to touch anything. Here's the battle for the lead now and Newsom makes it stick just about. Savage tries to get back across the back of him and just contact him up in the air and back down and now the back wing on Newsom's car is uh, very much askew. But 
David Shane doing a great job with these cars. Obviously, we've got no wheels off, no suspension bends. They're very, very strong cars. Built, remember, in Blaine Row and County Wicklow. All Irish built, all the exact same. Here's Newsom down to turn three. He doesn't seem to be getting out of shape. The car seems to be handling quite well. There's uh, everybody else screaming through. David Hall, Brian Hardy and the rest. But Michal Balfour is in second place. Good run from him. Relatively inexperienced. There's uh, David Hall, 34. That's our onboard cameraman. That's Lee Newsom behind him. Younger brother of Gary. Just look how much these cars move around at turn three now. So uh, really tough to, tough to drive there. And that's Hardy getting up the inside. I think of Savage and Hall trying to follow up too. Bit of a gap now, that's Duffy from Hardy and Hall right up there, so he's coming up to agree quite well, that's David Hall. Savage now off the track a little bit, probably has got something askew in the suspension from that big bump perhaps because he's falling back down through the field. He needs to keep going of course for championship points, because he's very much one of the fancy runners in this championship. We're on board again with uh, Liam Murphy there, right out the curves of turn one. Through turn two, just grabs the gear on the edge of this one, you can see how quick these cars are. Remember, 1.8, 16 valve engines, 140 brake horsepower at the back wheels. Can go around Mondello in about 57 seconds, so even quicker than a Formula Ford, 1600. And uh, there goes Newsom now, wing still askew, Balfe having a go at him. Then young Trevor Duffy that we spoke about. Then it's Brian Hardy, David Hall, Lee Newsom next up. And that looks like young Parks, David Parks then, right with him in the red car. And look at this now, Newsom having to defend, and Michal Balfe having a good go to number eight in the ace hire car. There's Duffy now and Hardy, very much uh, the young cub and the old uh, master there in this class, fighting away. Hall grabbing a gear there and trying to get on the back of this battle. Heading down towards turn four, turn three I should say, in fourth gear. Through the first apex, very hard to get the car slowed. Right to the outside now, Hall should be quick on the exit, he got a good uh, turn in. As he grabs fourth gear, he'll be looking to get a run at Brian Hardy, but no gap in front of him. So he's getting very sideways, 66 going right around there, that's Paul O'Connell. Quick spin for him, he should be able to rejoin. Brian Hardy now beginning to move around behind Trevor Duffy, really wants to get that place back and he knows Hall is closing in on him so it's becoming a three car battle, there's Savage still running, here's our leaders now and Newsom uh, still seems quite composed despite that wing, I wonder, obviously the officials don't think it's a problem and won't come off because they'd be calling him in for a look if they did think there was a problem with that. Jared Stafford Plantar car taking a little bit of curve there on the inside of Dunlop Corner, trying to get a good run, it's crucial at Mondale to get a good run out of Dunlop Corner because that dictates your speed all the way down the main street. Newsom now, a little bit of defensive driving room, just holding the inside of the road. Michal Balfe doing very well, as we said, relatively in inexperienced Balfe, but going very, very well in these cars. And a huge battle, of course, is for third place. Duffy doing well to hold back Brian Hardy in the Brian Hardy transport car there. And uh, next up then, it's still Hall. Then it's young Newsom, good drive from Lee Newsom. Again, immaculate turned out like his brother up front. These cars beautifully prepared. And back to his brother, who's still leading this race. I'm sure he'll have to get that wing fixed for race two, but he's not too worried about it at the moment. Duffy pulling away from Hardy now, Hall still giving him the work over, Hall looking to move up, we go back on board with him in a few minutes time, in fact Duffy getting away very much so now, the off camera Ireland.ie corner, it's the entrance to the S, is a bit of a handful in any mid-engine car, begin to get a little bit sideways, here we're on board again, but Hall just grabs work here, right up on that inside curve, a really aggressive driving from him, really does want to have a go at Brian Hardy, he's very late on the brakes, closes in on the back of Hardy, all of them going over that curve on the inside. These cars seem to take a little bit of curve, doesn't bother them too much. Grabs fork here on the main street. They're so equal as they head down the main street. And it's still the same thing up front. Uh, Michal Balf a little bit later on the brakes perhaps, but nowhere to go because Newsom driving inch perfect, just holding the centre of the road as they go by the grandstand and down into that Honda corner. And they're all becoming a little bit spaced out in the battle for a second now. Doesn't seem there's anything David Hall could do about Brian Hardy at the moment. Heading down towards turn three again. Double apex corner, that's the quick bit. The first apex then grounds the outside, down a gear, get it turned in and up the hill. In fact, Hardy a little bit sideways there, and Hall may be able to capitalize on that on the way up the hill. Then it's uh, Young Parks, number nine there, that's David Parks, locking a wheel, coming into the S. He's on board again with Liam Murphy. He's down in turn three, a battle there in the midfield. He's trying to recover back up the field after that spin we saw him have coming onto the main straight. These cars, of course, can be bought from David Shane and County Wicklow, under €20,000 uh, for the whole package on the button, so very affordable racing. One step up, as we said, from Formula V. David Shane, the man who introduced Formula V to Ireland many years ago, and uh, decided that some of the Vs wanted to graduate into a slightly quicker class without spending too much money, so he uh, developed this class, and now we've got full grids, and as you can see, great racing. So Newsom perhaps inching away a little bit from Michal Balfe. These two are the class of the field. Young Duffy getting away. There's Hardy, Paul, and Parks. 25 there, that's Pat Casey, and it uh, looks like Murphy just putting a move on him, indeed he does down the inside, coming back up through the field in the LJM car after that spin. We're on board again with him, he's up yet another place, he'll be kicking himself for that spin, Murphy usually runs near the front, 
and uh, we'll be wanting to come back up. Remember, it's all about championship points for these guys. Points make prizes at the end of the year, so that's what they're after. A little bit of curve there at turn three. He's catching on another competitor in front now as he grabs fourth gear. Good run, heading down towards the S's, back down into third gear. Newsom again, and a little bit more of a gap now, possibly a two-car length gap. And Duffy still bringing Hardy with him. They're pulling away now from David Hall. Both of them again taking that curve on the inside of Dunlop Corner. Here comes Newsom one more time. Lee Hall bow from second. A good gap back behind them. Newsom locking the front wheel. Both drivers still trying very hard. In fact, Michal Balf going very, very wide there, missing his apex completely. And look at Newsom kicking up there. Both drivers pushing like it's a qualifying lap here. Really driving very, very hard. So it's great to see this right in front of them. I'm sure young Duffy will be watching this and hoping they'll make a few more of those mistakes. And he can capitalize. Here comes Murphy again. And Grouse Ford here. He's got a good run this time. But the cars are so equal. They're sealed engines. So he won't get any advantage in a straight line. Obviously got a good run off Dunlop Corner there to allow him to challenge. And now Newsom, four, five car lengths clear. Certainly looking very, very strong for this one. Up to Dunlop Corner again, very late in the brakes. The car moving around, as it always does when young Gary Newsom is driving it. Brian Hardy still looking for that third place. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. So far, here's the checkered flag. Yeah, Gary Newsom takes the win handily. He's delighted with that one, especially with the damage to the back end of his car. Got Bell from second, and Trevor Duffy third. Gary Newsom, you really made it look easy today. You qualified in pole position. Well done. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, the first couple of laps were kind of hectic. I missed the gear off the line and Anton, and um, I think Michal got by me. But I uh, managed to get them back and held it to the end, so really happy. Congratulations, Gary. Well done. So Newsom takes the win, then it's Michal Balf, Trevor Duffy, Brian Hardy, and David Hall.